Hey Urbana, I am Suki Reed, admin assistant at the City of Urbana. In this special back to school feature of It's All About You, we will be talking with the Urbana Police Department and hearing about their backpack drive to help students start off the school year right. Then we'll be speaking with Preston James and Kelly Walton about their radio show, The Perspective. And right after school starts, it's always good to have a little bit of summer fun left by celebrating at the Urbana Sweet Corn Festival. We will be visiting the Urbana Business Association today and it's all about you. Urbana. This is Bridget from the city of Urbana and we're gonna start out it's all about you with something kind of kind of serious. Um, it's back to school and you know usually back to school is kind of fun. You're kind of sad because summer's over but it's exciting. You're gonna see your friends, maybe get some new shoes, some new clothes, you get some school supplies. But you know here in Champaign County one out of every four kids, that's 25 percent of our kids, go to bed hungry every night. So you gotta figure they probably don't have money for school supplies. And just think, you're going into your classroom on the first day, you're a little kid, and you don't have your pencil or that cool pink eraser, you know, the power of a pink eraser. And it makes you feel really sad. So thankfully, here in Urbana, the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge Number 70, and Sergeant Jay Lotion of the Urbana Police Department have come up with something really cool. Could you tell us about it? Yeah, so this year we decided to do a, a backpack school supply drive. Awesome. Uh, this is the first time in almost 18 years that I've been with the city that I know of that we've done something like this. Uh, over the years, we've always participated in Shop with a Cop. Um, yeah. So when I had this vision, I'm like, let's try something different. And so I, I threw it out to the board and some other uh, peop uh, employees with the city. And they're, they're like, yes, let's try something different. So I shot the idea about the back, backpack school supply drive. Um, and the vision was to, is to try to help children start the school year off right because there's so many children that don't have the necessities they need to, uh, to get started. And you know, that's one less thing they have to worry about. If we can help them out and get the school supplies they need to start out, then let's, you know, again, that's one less thing they have to worry about. And the teachers aren't having to worry about if they have this. Well, and you know, stuff. did you know too that if a child is stressed, they can't learn. You know, they can't learn. They can't concentrate, and then they just start the whole school year off wrong. And I mean, can you imagine? You know, you can walk in, and then here, here's some supplies. I mean, it'll just take a whole load off. And we want kids to start out right. We want them to start at the very best point that they can. So this is really important, and it's for elementary age. Students it is. We have uh, we have partnered with Wiley School this uh, this time, this first time around. Um, so we've we've been in contact with the new principal down there. We're gonna donate the supplies that, that we receive to them, and if they have excess, we're just gonna ask that they give them to the other elementary uh, schools, Thomas Paine, um, and some of the uh, other schools. Yeah. Locally. All you have to do is come to the lobby, the city building, 400 South Vine Street here in Urbana, right across from Lincoln Square, and we have a big box in the lobby, and you can just drop off your items. Now, we have a list, too, and where can they find the list? The list is actually on our uh, Facebook page, and there's also a list that's attached to the box. And yeah. in regards to the backpacks, the backpacks don't have to be brand new. As long as they're in working condition, there's no holes, the zippers work. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I would buy my kids backpacks or things and they were fine, you know, they just grew out of them or whatever. So yeah, gently used backpacks would be fine. And like here, I've got some pencils. They're not used yet, but they're not in a package. That would be probably fine too, you know. And also, if you want to go to our website, www.urbanaillinois.us, and then click on the picture that says back to school, you can find the list there too. Also, I want to tell you, if you can't bring your supplies over and you want to call over here to the city to me, Bridget Broyhan, 328-8264, call me up. I'll come get the supplies. I mean, this is really important, something I feel pretty strongly about, too, and I'm happy to help. Yes, and the other thing I'd like to add is, and we've, we've gotten a lot of inquiries about, you know, dropping off the supplies. Uh, we would also accept cash donations, and then the union would go purchase some items oh, for the Oh, that's wonderful. That's one. Yeah, if you just want to bring by some money or a check, we'll it, gladly accept that too. And you know what, they've had to empty it like three times, but I think we want to empty it like 30 times, the box. We want to just keep emptying it because it's overflowing. So please get out and help a kid. Hi 
Hi, Urbana. We're here up at Power 102 Jams. So these guys have a unique perspective and they've decided to come and get on the air and share with people things that affect our community and beyond. And since this actual radio station goes on the World Wide Web, we could even affect change wherever, which is really awesome. Absolutely. But can you guys kind of tell me what the premise, is of, the premise of your talk show is? We did a traffic stop video mm -hmm. um, through um, UPTV. Jason right. uh, Liggett did a great job helping us out with that. It was great. And uh, we used some of our uh, youth in the area um, and talked about a topic that they were felt was very important, which was how to deal with police and traffic stop. Yes. So um, the we named the video Perspective, and when the owner and operator of this uh, radio station, Aaron, um, saw the video he was like man this would be a great opportunity we need more like we need more stuff like this right and so you. me and uh kelly uh we've been friends for well over 20 years uh grew up together and, and we have a very unique perspective like you said uh, we both together have over 20 years in law enforcement and and wow. we've been um the minority community members for over uh, 90 years together. So our, our experiences, um, we, we've seen the good, the bad, the ugly on both sides. You both have very unique perspectives. So now you're going to take these perspectives and do what with this radio show? What do you hope to accomplish? What are some goals that you have starting out? Well, I'm, I guess the main thing is to just kind of get, you know, our views out of what, what all we've experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe you know, help that person who really doesn't know the law mm -hmm. or really doesn't know how to interact with, with police. Maybe just give them a better understanding of kind of, you know, when, when they are um, approached or put in a situation, how, how, to, how to react, how to deal, how to speak, you know, just, um, just kind of get some, some, some tips on how to, how to get to that situation um, as civilly as possible. And isn't that just life in general? It's always about relationships with people, how to get along with others. That's always an issue. So this is like bringing home and maybe some groups that could really use a little help get because it's hard to be a teen or oh, an yeah, at-risk youth. Anyway, it's I mean, it's hard. It's a hard time of life. But right. if you can just help them get through that a little bit. So what are some of the topics you're going to approach? You're just starting this, right? I mean, we Correct. just start. Correct. Yeah. So what are some of the topics you guys would like to approach right off the bat that you're going to be visiting with your radio show? Uh, well, uh, initially, we're definitely going to start. It's all going to be community police relations. Mm -hmm. um, there, there will be some um, race relations as well because mm -hmm. um, in certain instances it kind of intertwines because culture True. gets involved and right. not understanding uh, an individual's culture can play to uh, misunderstandings, right? yeah. you know, yes. uh, especially in the heat of the moment. So we want to definitely get into those discussions. Right. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do we do that? Um, we, the intent is to um, have some topics that, that we come up on our own, as well as some of the community um, and social media um, posts that people may um, post and, and request for us to speak about. Let's tell people how they can find you and, and how they can contact you. How, first of all, they want to come listen to you. What do they do? So uh, there, there's several ways that you can uh, reach and, and see the show. It will be on Thursdays mm -hmm. um, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh. Um, where they have this radio station actually has an online mm -hmm. uh, website that you can listen through, which is... Um, Power 102 Jams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you Google it, all of that comes up. There's also a Facebook page, mm -hmm. and there is apps as well that uh, you can download on your Android or your Apple device. So if you guys can get out there and like their Facebook page, you can find some information on the show, and I'll be happy to tune in and listen to you guys. Because I know Absolutely. you personally, and I know, listen, I know Preston pretty well, and I know what kind of <laughs> passion he has and I have a feeling these are going to be really good hot topics that you know incite some great excitement in the community so absolutely yeah. got to love the community you live in you absolutely know? yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah so thanks you guys well, thank, thank you appreciate it thank you
You know, it's always fun after back to school starts to have some kind of end of summer fun event to go to to kind of keep the, you know, the tradition of summer fun going. So one of those great events, probably the best event in Central Illinois is the Urbana Sweet Corn Festival. And we're here today at Urbana Business <laughs> Association with Corny and Paris Balarota of Urbana Business Association. So could you tell us about the event? Like what, what are we, what's great about it this year? Um, well, we're continuing on with the whole local vibe that we created from last year. So it is going to occur on August 24th and 25th. Awesome. Friday night will go from 5 to midnight and Saturday will go from 11 a.m. to midnight as well. Okay, so what can people expect? I mean, is it just corn? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's going to be a lot, a lot of corn, corn. <laughs> um, but we'll have a lot of really good local entertainment. We have awesome. Mojo, who's doing a tribute to Tom Petty. Oh, 90s cool. Daughters putting together a huge set that's oh, going to do Boston wonderful. cover and sticks and all that uh, era. So a lot of um, bands that are either original music or covering music from those eras. Oh, it's always a great yeah. time. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, really cool highlight this year is we're completely doing away with tickets. So no tickets whatsoever. So you oh. stand in one line for beer, one line for corn, and you call it a day. Awesome. So that is that no is really. No lines for tickets. You no. just get your stuff. Well, yeah. Nice. yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, a lot of really good new food vendors. So we'll have over 20 food vendors and applications are still oh. coming in. So new food too. You know, I heard a rumor that like, Maybe like CU Adventures and Time. Yeah, yeah. CU Adventures in Time and Space. They oh. are actually setting up a puzzle hunt where you can go. It's for kids and adults to wander through the festival, and uh, Corny's looking for it um, <laughs> and to solve different games and puzzles, and you win prizes. I love them. Yeah, oh, it's a man, lot of fun. You guys, just come out for that if nothing else, but everything else. But also. Is this kid friendly? I mean, what if you have like little kids? What do you oh, yeah, definitely. This is definitely a family friendly Aww. festival. We have action inflatables that come out. We have the Orpheum oh. Theater that will be out here with um, activities for the kids. Tricochi University comes and does glitter tattoos and paints hair and braids. And there's oh. a lot of really fun family friendly. Yeah, you know, I know somebody from Tricochi. She's really excited to do it. So yeah. they're going to be out there ready to glam you up. And finally, we have the corn classic corn eating contest. What so, is that? So that happens on Saturday afternoon. You can just register the day of, and it's for adults and the kids. And in how many ears of corn you can eat, they're five minutes or three minutes if you're a kid. Who does the event? I mean, is it just you guys? I mean, it seems like you need volunteers, right? Yeah. So, so planning and leading up to the event, yes, Corny and I are the ones planning. But during the event, we definitely need all the help we can get from the community. And we need at least 500 volunteers oh to make gosh, the event happen. Right. So, okay. and we'll, we'll take volunteers up to the day of the festival. But sign up in advance would be awesome. And it's really cool if you do sign up with groups of 10 or more, there's little perks that you get. I know we're putting together at the city a little group, so look for us, we'll be there. Yeah. And also, how can they find out more? Uh, just go to our website, UrbanaSweetCornFestival.com. All right, great. Okay, well, we hope to see you there with getting our corn on. See you later, Urbana.